Should be fun. All right, what did I leave off with? I don't even remember where we left off in this game here. But I know that I need more blue so that I can... Yes, it's time for Graveyard Keeper. I finally get to watch! Hooray! Well, welcome to Graveyard Keeper. Do, do, do. Actually, that's another great idea. Do we want to maybe do like a D&D &D planning night or something on on the Discord? Because we, we've definitely gotten away from like Novice DM and stuff on the Discord. And I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. Is it maybe time to get back to doing some D&D &D planning on the Discord? D&D &D planning night. Could be fun. Depending on scheduling, I'd love to drop in on that. Excellent! Excellent. Like, so here's a big picture, right? Like, I've been talking about things that I want to do with the Discord and how I would like things to shape up. We need to, for that one shot, yes. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I won't be able to share uh, on the Discord in terms of the one shot because there's a lot of folks that I'm looking to invite to the game. Who are active members of the community um so there's only so much that i'll be able to share uh during during a discord hangout but we can still like work together and put stuff together and things like that that's always a good time um do i have do i have seeds to grow more vegetables or do i need to get more seeds I have I have a couple of things that I can plant here still, so let's let's get those going because I think that'll be helpful. Uh, there we go. And I like that I can automatically pull seeds from my inventory here. That's very helpful. Uh, this guy. There we go. Perfect. Um, but I think that'd be fun. I think it'd be nice to... to do some... some D&D &D planning, especially because we... that's another one of those things that has kind of lost a space on the Twitch channel, but it's still definitely a good part of our community. Um... Oh, do I still need to order? I need to get some oil for the donkey here, don't I? Um, graveyard's looking pretty good, though, right now. I still need some more headstones for these graves. Because right now I just have the, the wooden markers. Bishop would buy bread, right? I think. I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. Now, let us pray for this blessing. Your donations are welcome. I'd like to say a few words. You would, wouldn't you? Yes. Nice. Did we get 20 coin from everybody? Close. Very nice. All right. We're going to hang on to that faith for right this second. And then we're going to go over here. Okay, so he needs some bronze quality fish fillets. I could have sworn that he would take bread from us, but mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, so we need to drop off some stuff at home. We need to check how much fish we have. Ooh, wait. We can convince Snake to give us the, the thing. He left. Well, fine. We'll have to find him another time then, I guess. Um, so I need to check how much fish I have. My energy is a little low right now. I'd like to be able to get through the entire day with the amount of energy that I have. A mood, really. Uh, someday. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's a very, uh, very big mood for many of us. Cherry Round! Welcome back to Mountain Shade Village. How are you, friend? I hope you're doing well. How is this different from Stardew? Uh, a lot of ways. The overall tone of the game is very different um, from Stardew. The, the gameplay overall is very similar. Um, so, like, you've got to go from place to place, talk to people, pick up specific information, um, all of that kind of stuff. Excuse me. I am supposed to have a dozen carrots, a dozen beets, and a dozen lettuce or cabbage here. Why is this chest wrong? Ugh, how rude. So there's a bunch of, like, quests and stuff that you pick up and you have to bring certain things to different characters and things like that. But the overall tone of the game is completely different. Um, I would also say that there is something about the stuff that I can build and the stuff that I can collect and it just, it hits different. And I'm wondering if it was just like I was not ready for a Stardew style game when I started playing Stardew. Um, because like, I was, I didn't realize that I liked Metroidvanias as much as I do uh, until I played that Elderend demo. Um, so maybe it's just that this one was the right style game at the right time and I like it a lot better because of that. I forgot to grab the oil, didn't I? Yes. Um, and so now I might give Stardew another chance. Uh, but I have been enjoying this game much more than I enjoyed Stardew on my last playthrough. So... It's, it's a very different experience, in my opinion. And I don't... I don't have a lot of perception on Stardew in terms of how it's different. Like, I don't have any characters to date in this, really, as far as I can tell, in the same way that uh, Stardew has. But I know that we have a rapport system, so there's that. I got some oil for your wheels. Great! Finally, I'll get a little peace and quiet, and I'll be able to think about my theories and ways to fight for what's right. I already have all the wharf rats on my side. Our activist donkey over here. Do 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 do. Alrighty, so, uh, what do we need at this point? I don't even know if there's anything in particular that we need. Um, maybe it would be worth harvesting some things that we can get some new research for, because we've researched a handful of things already. Ooh, we were in the middle of making some armor, which requires this component. Um, okay. If we want to leave, we're pretty good on food right now. I don't really feel the need to grab much else. And we want the body to have uh, a pretty good rating when we put it in the ground here. Do, 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 do. 
But that should help us get some blue research components here. So that'll help. And then we've got a wooden marker that we can put into place. And then I need another grave frame. I don't remember where to do the grave frames. Which wood station needs the does the green frames? The carpenter's bench. Excellent. Since we've got plenty of planks right now, let's put together a bunch of these and then we can leave them over in the trunk in the graveyard. That'll be helpful. again uh do we wanna do we wanna talk to her now or do we want to save our faith for snake we might want to save our faith for convincing snake to give us the item that we need because we still have not been able to go and get the journal and that's going to be kind of important in order to move the main plot forward Research these. Huh. All right. Do, do. All right. I don't need to make more paper right this second, I don't think. Yep, because I got plenty of. That needs one. And that needs one. All right, I will study this one right now. And we're gonna put that up at the the armor station here. Finally, finally, I got myself got myself some blue points, so we can actually unlock some more technology here. That's gonna be very useful. Oh, I put the <laughs> I put the frame in place, and then I didn't actually finish it. Good. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> We're doing great. Oh, goodness. Alrighty. There we go. We got some more peat to fertilize the garden. I don't think I can actually upkeep the um, the apiary yet to like build a honey area, but I do have the bee that I need in order to start that, so that'll be good. Um, I need to go fishing. I forgot to put down the heckin' Skin, so that we can have that for the armor that we need to make. Um, what else do we need to do here? Let's have a look at the journal really quickly. Alright, we need the old keeper's diary from the church cellar, which means we need to talk to Snake and convince him to give us the item. Uh, the merchant... Well, we've got stuff for him. We just need to go on the right day. Miss Charm, we will get to later. We need some more faith. Uh, four quality fish fillets to the bishop. Which means we need to do some more fishing. Ten paper and one ink. Okay, we're probably going to need to go fight some bats then. Silver star fish fillets for the gypsy baron. That's going to take a second. An iron axe for the woodcutter. We might be able to do that today. Um, what do we got for materials here? 
Iron ingot, great. Uh, I need sticks, I think. You're gonna check this game out? Excellent. I've really been enjoying it, so I hope you do as well. Um, it's been, it's been way more captivating for me. Polishing paste. Mmm. What is the polishing paste for? Oh, the anvil is where I need to be for the... X1. Is this an iron axe? Or is this something else? I'm hoping this is the iron axe. Also, we can improve our rusty tools here. So let's make a shovel. I think I need to research the hammer to be able to get the higher quality hammer? I think, I'm not sure. Steffi, how we doing today? What's going on? Welcome in. Always lovely to see you back here in Mountain Shade Village. How's it going? I need some drops of oil here pretty soon, too. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Into town we go. Hi, hi. Uh, let's see here. Where? Where was the woodcutter? Woodcutter was like way up here, right? Right up here. All right. So let's go. I mean, just get pushed around by the NPCs for a second. Good grief. Just watched a classmate's presentation and her mouth was moist. Whoa. Like, I hate it. Why? <laughs> Why is this information that I needed? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Magic Sheep, why have you cursed me with this information? <laughs> Uh, was it because of the misophonia? Or was it something else? <laughs> I'm very concerned. Where's the lumberjack? Hello, woodsman. I have a nicer axe for you. I'll give you two recipes, pasta and lasagna. That'll be all you need to keep cutting trees all day long. Vegetarian? Meat is expensive. The trick is the slow-releasing carbs. Lentils are an even better protein. Yay! This is this is the stuff, y'all. We have pasta recipes. Because I had to endure the 12 to 13 minutes slabber talking and I needed to share that Mike may have uh, been in her mouth for all I know. Oh, no. Uh, my condolences, Magic Sheep. I, you know... <laughs> I've said it before and I will say it again. Audio is more important than you give it credit for. Audio is the thing that allows you to stay in a stream or in a presentation uh, because that is the thing that you will fall back to if you are not actively watching the thing that is on the channel. And so having a decent audio recording is immensely important. One out of four videos done. Let's hope this 18 minute one is better. I, I hope so as well. Like when I'm lurking and here you go silent and I have a mild heart attack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like that, Ben. Like that. But that's the thing. I think it's something that a lot of people forget about, especially because like Twitch is such a visual medium, right? So you're like, oh, I need to focus on my video. I need to focus on how I how I look on stream. I need to focus on all of this visual input. 
And yes, I'm not saying that visual input is not important. However, audio is more important than a lot of people give it credit for. Um, so having having like a solid, smooth recording set up with your uh, with your audio component is immensely helpful. Being able to control the volume of your audio components, being able to have uh, a solid uh, value on that is, it has a huge impact on what you do and how things sound. Um, so keep that in mind, it's helpful. Uh, let's see here, the merchant should be here tomorrow, which is good. Um, all right, so I only have 23 blue right now, and I need more faith to be able to do more research. So I don't know what to focus on. This will give me... All right, sermon money plus 20%, sermon faith... We need, we do need some better sermons here. But I haven't, I also haven't crafted one. Um, so we have access to some sermons, but we haven't created any yet. Ooh, being able to create better gravestones would definitely be useful. It's also part of the conferences. Silences usually mean something's wrong. Yeah, that's fair. That is 100% fair. It makes a lot of sense. Quality fertilizer. Brewing. Bee friend. You've been bitten so many times that bees can't even damage you anymore. So you have enough time to collect more honey from a beehive. That's useful. Well, does it mean that we don't take damage? That would be nice. I should be able to actually make beehives now. We should go check on that, because that would be useful. Extra nails. We can't get that one yet, though. Woodcutter. You know how to use an axe? Chopping a small tree can now give you an additional log. Also, you can make more firewood and wedges from log chunks. Useful. Uh, silver ore we already have, related ore, limestone, sulfur, and pyrite. That looks like it's going to be important later on here. Ceramic firing. Precious metals, silver ore, gold ore, and graphite. Woodcutter. Cookery. There we go. Oh, right. I can't research any of these. I just get what I unlock. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything that's going to be particularly useful offhand to, like, start with. I also don't know what the chisels are for. I learned to make a chisel, but I don't know what it's for. Which is weird. Um, I don't know what path to go down here. I have so much green and red, but like no blue, and I don't know what's going to be helpful the most. Chiseling, probably. Ben! Dang it! Comfort of faith. Church bench. That seems like it's going to be helpful, because that's going to get us more people. And I'll... I guess we'll go for some more small stuff here. Cremation! I bet this will actually let us unlock stuff in the crematorium now. Yes. Perfect. That'll be helpful. Do I have anything else that I can unlock for five blue? We've got some writing skills here. Nothing in the smithing area that we can do now for five. Ceramic firing is for five blue. Ceramic firing. 
gardening. Hang on. Nope. Everything starts at uh, at ten. Writing. All right, ceramic firing or writing? It looks like. What do we think? We want to do ceramics or writing first? writing that might assist us more with the research potentially all righty let's get some sleep it's interesting like i can keep my energy bar up but i get a debuff of some kind when i don't sleep on a regular basis so it's kind of interesting um I was going to do... You know what else would be really handy? Is if I had a recipe book. That's one thing that I wish that I had that doesn't seem to exist. Is I would love to be able to have a recipe book for, like, all of the things that I have unlocked. Um, and, like, what station I build them at. That, that would be so useful. What? Why is this guy eating flesh? I Welcome welcome to the game. I told you it was a different vibe. <laughs> I told you. Uh. I told you. Okay, what happened to my... There we go. Alright, I got 10 oil now. That's useful. That's very useful. Polishing paste. I don't know what to do with this polishing paste now that I have it, but we've got some polishing paste. I assume that it is used in turn to make something else. I don't know what, but... There we go. Stream Raiders! It is Stream Raiders time. Alrighty. Alrighty. We're gonna sleep just a little bit more here. And then, when we wake up, it can be the perfect time to go into town. <laughs> 